everyone, it's Steve Spangler. Every once in a while I get a little question like, what's your favorite science experiment, favorite science demo, favorite thing you've done on TV? Um, no favorites, things that I go to all the time, and every once in a while I'll find something really cool that I haven't really found a home for in any of those kinds of things, and uh, I just wanna show you how to do it. And so it's one of those that I don't wanna get tucked away on the shelf and, and uh, have people uh, not doing it. It starts with the classic, so I'm sure you're familiar with the first part. All right, if not, quick little demonstration. Water goes into the jar, mysterious floating card trick. All right, so now the card goes on top, so a little coaster goes on top. Whole thing gets turned upside down. We hope and hope and hope that the card, oh my gosh, did you see that? It's not the floating card trick, it's the floating water trick. Look at this, the water floats in the container. You can't remove the card, because if you do, then all the water will fall. So you always keep the card here, upside down, and now see, that's how the water comes out. If you're unfamiliar with this, it's quick, it's easy to do. You're using a canning jar, which seems to be a little bit weird for some people because they're like, why would you use a canning jar? I always simply say to give you a flat surface, but really is to hide the secret. The secret inside is a piece of screen. So here is a little piece of screen right here. So I'm just using a, a kind of a plastic screen found at the hardware store. Great demonstration for teaching adhesion and cohesion. So water molecules will adhere to the screen, but there's cohesion between the two water molecules because of the polarity of the, of the water molecules. And of course, there's that surface tension, so to speak, the hydrogen bonding that makes up the surface tension. Bottom line is that you hide this in here like this, and you're ready to do the miracle. Okay, so uh, what you have to be careful of, so the water goes in, you don't really have to try to hide the screen all that much. Uh, most people don't see it anyway. Many times the card will stay. So let me put it here, turn it upside down. Let me see if I can get it to stay. See, there it is, it will stay. So sometimes it'll fall, sometimes it'll stay. That's nice. You don't go whipping it off, because if you whip it off, sometimes you'll, uh, you'll break the surface tension, so you have to be pretty careful that way. But the, the, the screen now uh, is there and the water is just precariously held in place. Tipping it at all allows uh, air to come in and water will come out, okay? So that's really the makeup of the, <laughs> stay there. That's really the makeup of this next one, okay? So uh, you can use the jar. I found the jar at a, uh, like a container store or something like that. Um, I thought it was great because it had this little opening so this protects the screen. Notice how this isn't open here. The screen is here. So from a performance standpoint, that's great because you can go just to an empty jar, bingo. What you don't know is that there's a hole right here. Now, I had to buy a couple jars, found that the first few would break. Uh, uh, so found somebody who could drill it, they have to drill it underwater, whatever, you find somebody who can drill the, the glass. Um, so I have a couple of these salted away. You put a piece of tape over this and you do the demonstration as normal. When you wanna mess around and do this next little part, just pull the tape off when nobody's looking, uh, puncture it, whatever, but I'm gonna put my thumb over it so you can kinda see what happens here. So again, from a little bit of distance, cause you're probably seeing the screen on the top, all right, so here we go, there's the water. So remember, if I let go here, you don't want that, don't want that. So now I'm gonna turn the whole thing upside down, cards in place like this, whole thing's upside down, see if the card will stay, card stays. But now watch, when we let go like this, the water's there, if I let off and let air in, watch what happens, water will come out. Isn't that nice? Air in, water out, air it, so you can control the flow. So I've seen some people before, like uh, science magicians, that kind of thing, somebody at a birthday party, where the kids yell, go, and the water, of course, falls out, and they yell, stop, and it stops. A little bit more sophisticated, and you can really trick some people. I saw somebody years ago at a science teacher's convention do the demo, and uh, you could see he was picking at something, so I thought, oh, he's gonna do the whole thing, so he did, but the line was perfect. He told everybody, shut the doors, he said, uh, if I can get everybody in the audience, about 500 people to all breathe in at the same time, we can change the air pressure in the room. So no longer will there be 14.7 pounds. For, this is all baloney. But people kind of went, oh, okay. And he said, like, a warning, be careful that your ears don't pop, whatever. So everybody breathed in. And as soon as he got everybody in the audience to breathe in, water came out. He goes, breathe out, breathe out. And then he stopped it. You can't really see that the thumb is back and forth. 
these people went nuts. He was so excited he forgot to tell them about the hole in the thing. I think that there were some people that went home from the science convention thinking that you really could control the water uh, by the uh, controlling the air pressure in the room. It's a cool little uh, demonstration. It's one of those weird things that you just remember and it's a great thing to be able to pull out every once in a while. As always, you can find our resources at stevespanglerscience.com, all the social stuff at Steve Spangler, our YouTube channel with Six Science and with Spangler Science TV as well. Keep making science fun.